Hello and welcome to Bio Affairs. So today I am taking a very basic concept of bacteriology or microbiology you say. So the reprodu reproduction strategies of bacteria or archaea whatever you say and their reproduction cycle, their partitioning system and other than the traditional rep reproduction strategies, what other strategies bacteria adopt to counter different mechanisms. So we will talk about not in a traditional way but also as a not, all, not only the traditional way but also as a molecular angle. We will add some molecular angle and some molecular information, extra information I will give you so that it will be easy for you to understand the topic. Now coming to the primary and basic thing that is binary fission. So if you consider this as one bacterium, the red one is the cell wall, blue is the cell membrane black dots are ribosomes and in the center this is the nucleoid okay or the chromosome whatever you say now in the early phase of their division or going through the binary fission if you consider it through the cell cycle in eukaryotes you can consider it as a g1 phase where what happens they grow themselves a period of growth after a cell is born similar to the G1 phase. So they will enhance their cellular capabilities, they will increase internal materials and they will prepare themselves for further second round of division from themselves. So this requires some preparation time which can be considered as G1 phase of the cell cycle, eukaryotic cell cycle. Okay, Now the cell is preparing or prepares for division already cellular mechanism or chromosome synthesis started. Now the chromosome here you will see a major difference in eukaryote and prokaryote where the chromosome replication and partitioning period happens simultaneously. Means there is no gap between the two mechanisms or two phenomena. So here you can see that chromosome replication already started okay and the, this uh, blue or uh, green one is the daughter cell chromosome. So here during the replication already the daughter chromosome is going towards the end pol polar end if you say this is pole 2 and this is pole 1 of a bacterial cell then it is already moving towards the pole 2 for the daughter cell to form and this is a general mechanism where from the origin of replication or EC replication has started. So this replication started and partitioning also ongoing. This is a simultaneous, pro simultaneous process going on during the bacterium cell division or binary fusion process. So you can consider, consider it as a synthesis and M phase of cell cycle. Okay. Synthesis of cellular means replication as well as M phase the total partitioning period okay all the not the four phases I am telling you in eukaryotes like the eukaryotes but kind of partitioning mechanism compare it so that you can make it a difference. Now the second or the last procedure is the third is the septum formation or cytokinesis septum formation you can say this two steps or you can divide in three third and fourth cytokinesis and septum formation. I have kept it in the same position because of some reason I will tell you. So here you can see that already daughter 1 chromosome is or the parent chromosome is here. Daughter 1 cell or progeny 1 and the daughter 2 or the progeny 2 already it is partitioned to the pole 2 polar, polar end a polar 2 end and septum formation has started. Okay, this constriction of cell in the middle of the bacterium is septum formation. After that cytokinesis will take place or whatever you say it is the same procedure where or you can consider, consider it as the same procedure in, in case of eukaryotes where two cells are separated from each other. Up to this segment 
the two cells are not yet separated they are a large parent cell where both the everything is divided and everything is enlarged and duplicated right now the cytokinesis and septum first what will happen selection of the site for septum formation so here the site will be selected for septum formation which site this is the middle of the cell selection will occur in this step then assembly of z ring this z ring is nothing but the formation of tubulin proteins that is bacterial tubulin proteins ftsz it is compared with the microtubule formation in cell cycle so i am telling you this eukaryote things to consider it with the prokaryotic event and to make a easy view or imagine the process of bacterial reproduction okay like the eukaryotic reproduction so z ring forms here this z ring tells the cell that you need to start formation of septum in this region okay now z ring is composed of ftsz microtubule molecules now third one in this process is the assembly of cell wall synthesizing machinery because septum formation is what you have to have a cell wall and a cell membrane separately right so that is why you need to synthesize the peptidyl glycan in this region so this is also a process ongoing during the cyto uh, septum formation and cytokinesis now the fourth and the last one is the cons constriction of cell and septum formation so finally constricted cell you can say in this here septum is synthesized constriction happens two cell are divided now or almost divided where it has a separate cell membrane cell wall and here separate cell membrane and cell wall okay and then cytokinesis or division of the daughter cells so this may seems very easy but there are molecular events which are now been very detailedly studied so i will try to touch up some of the molecular mechanisms here because there are several proteins which is not needed for your syllabus or not needed for your knowledge you can read okay so in the next sessions or in the next few minutes i will tell you some the some of the molecular uh, mechanisms with help of partitioning and replication now if you go to the other replication strategies of or the reproduction strategies of bacteria this is the binary fusion it is most common and traditional way of bacteria to divide mostly e coli whatever you say is normal but there are examples of bacteria which generally do not divide by binary fusion but use some other strategies to reproduce themselves so let's go to that part so coming to the other examples of replication strategies where you can see in the picture in the first picture listeria monocytogenes which is a bacteria the mother cell is giving birth to a progeny cell with the help of a bud okay so budding system is available for this bacteria which commonly seen in fungi so it is a eukaryotic characteristics but you can see in the case of bacteria now second one you see here is the cyanobacteria or cyanobacter dermocarpa so cyanobacterium dermocarpa cell is undergoing multiple fission as you can see in this picture within the cell wall there are multiple progeny cells and this multiple progeny cells individually are called peiocytes so this is kind of a exceptionally example of multiple fission now another example is streptomyces where they show fungal characteristics with the formation of hyphae that is vegetative hyphae aerial hyphae branch germ tube and then spore formation so these are all fungal characteristics which are evidently seen in case of bacteria so remember these are not the common process these are exceptions okay now going to the next part so coming to the replication and partitioning part now replication i am not going to tell you in detail about the replication because it has to have several proteins 
several enzymes are involved during the replication process so i'm not explaining the replication process itself because i will do that when i will be studying the or i will be teaching you the molecular regulation of replication okay so let's forget that now overall i am giving you how replication takes place with the help of binary fission and as well as septum formation partitioning everything the whole picture i am going to give you here so let's get together with it now consider this as a bacterium now cell wall cell membrane chromosome generally it is double stranded dna so that is why two strands so ds dna the red dot you are seeing here is the origin of replication okay from here origin uh, replication will start and it is bidirectional it will go both the sides up to the terminus so this red third bracket region is the terminus region up to which replication will take place okay now this double stranded dna starting from the origin of replication it will look like a bulging area if you go through the studies and take the pictures within the help of microscope you will see the bulge area forming means this dot is enlarging or expanding to form a bulging shape that means the two strands are going to be replicated one by one okay considering the complementary strand now this replication initiation takes place again in the second step i have given you the partitioning partitioning means you see that this from the starting of the initiation of the replication now the two daughter chromosomes are because daughter chromosomes means uh, i have given you a red dot so that you can understand the origin of replication so the origin of replications are going to different poles a few minutes ago i told you the two daughter cells move during the replication process towards the pole so replication and partitioning is a simultaneous process to make you understand i have drawn this picture okay now this will be enlarging the this bulging area will be enlarged and more and more nucleotides will be added the replicated chromosome parental strand and the new strand for both the uh, chromosome will be partitioned to two poles pole 1 and pole 2 so this is called partitioning now i will not go it is also a very complex molecular mechanism i am not going to in complex molecular mechanism but remember that few proteins you need to remember par a protein par b protein these proteins are need to be bound to two par s regions okay there are two par s region present in the bacteria chromosome where these two proteins par a and par b bind and then partitioning start to happen okay now coming to the later procedure where septum formation begins so septum formation septum formation i have told you already from the middle of the cell always a septum will form the condition is for formation of septum is you have to have a z ring which is i already told you composed of cytoskeleton protein ftsz okay it is the eukaryotic equivalent protein you can say which is which will form the z ring this ftsz will form the z ring and with the help of z ring septum will be formed the cell will be started to divide from the middle okay peptidoglycan will be synthesized cell membrane will be synthesized and the cell will be divided divided now here cytokinesis the last part after cytokinesis two daughter cells progeny 1 and progeny 2 or bacterium 1 or bacterium 2 is separated so likewise the whole thing happens during replication and partitioning process so that i need to tell you okay so i hope you are clear with the basic concept of binary fission what are the exceptions of binary fission and the total overall picture of how it takes place within a bacteria this actually you can take an example of e coli cell cycle or reproduction cycle whatever you see
okay i think you are clear with the class if you have any doubt you can join my telegram channel to get the uh, more any information you need or you can comment me also thank you and if you really like my classes give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel by affairs this type of subscription and likes give me the enthusiasm to prepare more futuristic classes for you guys